Hello YouTube. My camera's normally over there, but it's over there today. It's good, isn't it? More Dwarf Fortress, about half an hour, 45 minutes or so. I don't want to go on too long. It's like 10 past three in the morning. It's not exactly prime time for doing hard thinking. Mind you, how often do I do hard thinking in my Dwarf Fortress games? Not that often, really, is it? Let's get a bit of Simon Swerver going. Blood-sucking little bastards flying around my face. Um, let's check out this adamantine and get digging, shall we? I think we'll make it priority one, because that's the most exciting priority. And we'll dig out here. That seems good. Thankfully, we didn't plough through the adamantine into hell, which is always a good, uh, good outcome when you're dealing with the blue stuff. Ideally, you want to avoid opening it up and letting the clowns out. It's not great for the fortress's longevity. Oh, tits. <laughs> gone the wrong way. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Keep digging, lads. Keep digging. Have I... Oh, yeah. Okay. I have paused it. It's nice, though. The bit we did dig out. Very, very nice. Lovely bit of adamantine. Useful. There we go. Actually, once we're over the top of the other adamantine areas, we could actually dig down into some of the hot stone and see if it's uh, see if it's actually got magma on the other side. That would be pretty cool. And then we might be able to get more adamantine from the uh, from the lower levels. However, that could just be good old-fashioned dwarven greed speaking. That's probably a poor idea. Go, diggy diggy. I'm liking this, it's very boxy, and assuming it's still a, only a 2x2 two two tunnel down into hell, we've actually got a substantial amount of uh, crap that can be dug out here. I like it. I like it a lot. Keep digging. Keep digging. Don't know how much... Ooh, don't dig that bit out. That's not a bit we want to dig out. Yeah. Silly spanner. There we go. Come on. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Ooh, if we're lucky, it will make a perfect cock and balls. Ah, uh, too late. The cock and balls has been disrupted. Nonsense. I thought we were going to end up with a nice little round bit here and this, but no, apparently not. Apparently the fates do not wish to bless us with a penis icon. Never mind. Not the be all and end all. There are other good omens available. This whole bit here can be dug out, can't it? That feels pretty nice. That feels like a lot of adamantine. Oh. Sorry. Forgive me if I get a little bit spacey towards the end of this one. It is pretty late. And when I say spacey, I don't mean like that. I mean spaced out. It's a slightly different thing. Oh, someone's cancelled store item in stockpile, Seeking Infant. Hopefully that's because they just had one. Yay, someone had a baby girl. Very nice, but please don't bother me with that. I'm not really interested. I'm only saying yay as a sort of pre-programmed response that I feel like I'm compelled to give because, you know, people get shitty if you go, don't tell me, I don't care. <clears throat> yep, I am a nightmare to work with. <laughs> Uh, so, what can we definitely dig out? Well, we can definitely dig this out, that's not necessary. And we can definitely dig these bits out here. And I'm going to dig this shit out, because I feel like... Yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be tickety-boo. Which also means, because if we look over here... I feel like some of this can be dug out, because... Oh, no, no, the reason we weren't digging it out was magma. It's got, it's got nothing to do with whether or not there's freaking a pit to hell. Uh, so, we smooth that one. No, you spam javelin. What are you doing? Okay, so that one there, and pres presumably this here? We'll start with that one. Once that's smoothed and uh, fortified, we'll see how it works out. Definitely dig that out. That's fine. <laughs> Did I make it priority one smoothie? Gonna be fine. Everybody, wind your neck in. Calm down.
A drunk Welshman and a drunk Scotsman yelling at each other. Now there's a clash of accents. There's a clash. Hello, Weirus. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, it might have been called Original Bagel. Yes, I think that might be it. It's got like a sort of pink and teal striped sign on the outside. A bit garish, but it's good. It's good. Is hell contained within the normal realm we're in? Or some kind of portal thing? Uh, it's, it's just further down, basically. It's just below. You have to build your own phallic tribute. Once we've got the glass making, uh, once we've got the glass making industry going, I will create an enormous crystal phallus that will rise into the air. Can we make purple glass? I think it'll be right. It'll be fine. I'm sure we can figure something out. <laughs> My eyes, it's so bright and the wrong angle. Where are who are you and what have you done with the scoundrel M? Shh, don't tell anybody, but I've kidnapped him and forced him to turn the big light on. I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? This, I'm not so sure I really like it, because it does make it a bit warm in here. I do like a low-level light normally, but, um, you know, for now, it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. And welcome back, Xavier St. Cloud. Thanks for joining us. Ooh. No, it hasn't been earmarked for anything yet. Uh, I'm kind of just going to stockpile it for now. Dig it out, stockpile it, and uh, allow it to be used for moods, and attempt to encourage it to be used for moods. But I think the two most likely things is weapons and armour. Speaking of which, we never set that military up, did we? We need to set up a proper military. So, with that in mind... Oh, saving. Can't do anything. Let's <laughs> just keep looking at chat instead. Um... <laughs> the rest of Hell is surrounded by stuff called Slade, uh, which implores you to come feel the noise. Uh, -bum -bum. There is. It's like Bedrock in Minecraft. It's, it's called Slade. But you can... Um, I think you can actually dig it and make stuff with it, or am I crazy? No, Zastava, no. <laughs> None in the hospital. The adamantine must not go to the hospital. If I see anyone walking out of there with blue stitches, I'm going to be furious. Absolutely bloody ragged. Oh, come on, get a smoother down there. Oh, well, get the save done first, then get the smoother down there. Once we've done that, I'll go and sort the military out. I suppose we could go to a therapist and uh, start looking at who we want to put in the military. But I need to disband the military we have already, and so, yeah, we need to go into the menus for that. Ah, oh, come on, game. Do you really need to take quite so long saving, or is it just something you're doing to spite me? You're attempting to upset me, are you? No? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It doesn't normally take this long, does it? Oh, hello. It's done. You can mine Slade. It's just so dense it's just barely light enough to not create black holes. Holy shit. The dead walk. Hide while you still can. Yeah, sure. Okay. But we've got the gate slot, so it doesn't matter how much they walk. They ain't getting in here. There's no bloody way, mate. I'm just going to check all of our grazers are in, because we had a migration wave turn up, didn't we? And often they bring grazers. Holy shit, they've brought loads. <gasps> oh my god, I nearly put the uh, undead in the grazing zone. <laughs> That could have gone badly. Bull, llama, horse, horse. Okay. The kangaroo skeleton can stay there. What is this? Horse skeleton. Yeah, you're not coming. You're not going in the grazing zone. Take me to the grazing zone. Okay, we're good. So, has this been hooked up to the lever yet? It bloody well has. Very nice. Excuse me, a little uh, celebratory fart there. I do apologise. Not that it's, you got the fun part. The noise, the noise of a fart, very much the amusing end of the equation. Whereas the bit I'm going to get in a minute is the olfactory segment. Very unpleasant. Olfactory segment. That is an odd phrase. Not one you hear every day. Uh, what's this? Uh, 
Uh, Slade is very, very heavy. According to the density specified in the rules, 200 grams per cubic centimetre, about the density of the core of the sun. A single boulder weighs around 20 metric tonnes. By comparison, an equivalent volume of freshly mined platinum nuggets only weighs around 21 metric tonnes. Heavens above, that is heavy. That is very heavy. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Dirk96. I missed that 34 minutes ago. How bloody rude of me. What an absolute... Oh, hello. Can of soda, the bookbinder, is stumbling around obliviously? Question mark. Oh, yeah, look, we've got two very sad boys in the fortress. Why? Why so sad, lads? Let me just uh, get rid of the sorting in Dwarf Therapist, and I'll try and find out what's making them so very upset. Hmm... <laughs> It looks like it's mainly loneliness and religious unavailability. Okay, maybe we build a temple, things will perk up a bit. I'm not sure. 2.1. Ah, okay, that's that's a big difference. <laughs> and they will get no adamantine socks. To be honest, we're barely getting enough pigtails and wool to get things going. Oh, wait, have we got shearables now? I've got the orders in for shearing, right? Yeah, shear animal, milk animal. Let's have a little look up the textile area. Now this, is this the thread stockpile? That's the leather stockpile. That's the thread stockpile. That's the cloth. And we're not really stockpiling any thread at all, are we? Which is annoying. I would very much like to be getting some thread, but we don't. Maybe if I look at the stocks. Um, thread. I think it's under T. That makes sense, doesn't it? Tables, tanned hides, thread. Here we go. So, giant cave spider silk, alpaca wool yarn, alpaca wool yarn, cave spider silk thread. Wow. That's a lot of cave spider silk thread. Oh, let me guess. It's in the caverns. No? Oh, the bloody traders who turned up all got slaughtered, didn't they? Look at all this crap on the surface. Ooh, we could get some of that. Have we still got the uh, undead prattin' around? Ooh. That's... that's a lot of undead. Yikes. Okay. At uh, first I was thinking that wild boar corpses were the worst of our worries, but it turns out lots of undead humans and elves. And dwarves. Oh, it's a very uh, eclectic bunch we've got out there. And we've also got a goblin crossbowman corpse. And an opossum. Oh, very nice. Where are these bastards then? On the surface. Uh, well, there may be all sorts of riches up there, but I'm not particularly keen on sending anybody up to Galavan right now. I don't think we have anywhere near enough traps to deal with that quantity of undead at the moment, so we'll just let it lie for a bit and everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. A single farmer can handle something like 50 tiles. Okay. It's a little bit early for that, Dave. <laughs> Just a shade on the early side. Noddy Holder, he's getting pretty long in the tooth now, isn't he? Is he still with us? Is Noddy Holder still... Uh, still kicking? Still rocking and rolling? Rocking and rolling. The problem with plump... Uh, sorry, the problem with pigtails is we don't have that many. Actually, do I... Am I accidentally cooking? That could be a serious issue. Um... Um, pigtails, there we go. Cooking? No, or brewing. Not doing either, so we should be, uh, should be building up quite the, uh, quite the number. It's always saying we haven't got enough pigtails. Mind you, they only grow two seasons out of four, so maybe I just need to be a little bit more 
aggressive with the placement. Let's put a few more pigtail farms in. Whoa, that didn't need to be that big. Jesus Christ, calm down, scoundrel. Why is that going purple down there then? Is there something forbidden? D, B, C. No, there's nothing forbidden. Oh, and, uh, hang on. Uh, D, B, C. There we go. No. No forbiddage. Oh, wait, what's this? Is that a door? Uh, build farm plot. Go, okay, that'll do. And then once that's placed, we'll put some uh, put some plump helmets in there. Tee hee, and it'll be all good. They've done the digging down here that I wanted them doing. Ah, yes. Uh, not that I wanted them to dig. I wanted them to smooth, so we can. Fortify. Lovely. Uh, how about another set of up downstairs here? Because I feel there's more adamantine to be had on the floors above. Although this feels like a very good floor to actually find where the uh, the hell spire starts. I used to be the manager of a Slade superfan. My goodness. Uh, an extract order on the workshop for pigtail thread. Mm, maybe not, actually. That's a, something I didn't realise I needed to do. Is that a farmer's workshop? Spin thread, milk animal, process plant, shear animal, make cheese. Add... Uh, I don't know, I think I've got it, haven't I? Is it just processed plant? What is it? Okay, I've got it. Okay, they are doing it. Maybe I should whack in another farmer's workshop. Could just be a bottleneck, couldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. A 59-year-old lady who is still mentally stuck in her teens. I've worked with someone like that before. Uh... <laughs> But, you know, sometimes that's a good thing. Uh, sometimes it's not. <laughs> um, okay, that is a bit weird, living in your old bedroom at what used to be your parents' house at 59. <laughs> Hopefully that's a return rather than like a never left kind of thing. That's crazy. She tried to slade everybody. Did she have a hat, top hat covered in mirrors? Did she have enormous, like, sideburns as well? Oh, okay, so she's a, like a super, super fan. Not like a, not like just a pretender, not just someone who likes them. Someone who's actually, uh, like, the band fear for their death for fear of losing money, <laughs> I would guess. I would guess. That's a very cynical way of looking at the world, isn't it? What a horrible, horrible person. Uh, DS, let's do a smooth... I'm guessing that it's got to be these four areas, right? It's got to be them. I'm also assuming that this is all good to dig out, right? Seems like it. Who knows? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. And someone will come down and do this uh, up downstair, which also needs to be priority one. For fuck's sake, guys, why would you dig adamantine infrastructure at such a low bloody priority. It's got to be super important. Uh-oh. we got another chuff coming down the tunnel. Excuse me. I'm going to wake the kids up with that one. Come on. There we go. D, capital F. Let's do a fortify. I'm fairly confident this is going to reveal what we're looking for. What the figgins? That's oh, right. They're doing it. They're doing it. Diggy, diggy, and... Diggy diggy dig dig diggy diggy dig diggy diggy dig dig diggy diggy dig dig diggy diggy dig So the whole level is diggable? 
question mark? thrown everything into disarray. I'm going to cancel this dig order here just in case but we are going to dig out all of that because that's very clearly diggable. Hmm. 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 Uh. Uh, I, uh, to be honest, <laughs> I, I, I understand the buying all the old computers thing. Being a super fan of a group, not so much my uh, not much such my milieu, but I understand the, the idea of wanting to get all the old computers and stuff you had as a kid. Oh yeah, get an archive of all those games that you never actually managed to get. Six months abroad in her twenties. I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but was she um, a little bit simple? I mean, that's the, that's the nicest way I could phrase it. Perhaps have some cognitive issues? <laughs> I'm guess I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the way some people want to live, which is fine. You should be allowed to do that. Um, hmm. I want to start digging more on this floor now, because if that's because if there's no elevator going down here, then maybe the whole spire's going to be solid all the way up? Because surely the, the, the hole down into hell has to be on the bottom end of it, right? It can't be on the top. Hmm. How much have we got now? Oh wow, we've actually got quite a bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to start setting strand extraction as an important thing. Uh, so, add... Uh, extract little strands, repeat, add, extract metal strands, repeat. And I need to give two of our peasants the profession of strand extractor. So where's our peasantry? Here we go, you two are peasants. Uh, you have literally no other jobs, so Bemble, strand extraction it is for you, and who's this? Odom. There we go. Commit Bemble and Odom now. Professional strand extractors. Forevermore. Forevermore? Uh... <laughs> I can understand what you're saying there, Salford Sal. It, sometimes it's, uh, it's hard. You know, you work with people who otherwise would be fine to be around, but in a work environment, I'm one of those people. I am a fucking nightmare to work with. Um, if you can make sure a level of adamantine has no tube, everything above it is safe. Unless you find another spire somewhere else on the map, of course. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, that, that sounded a bit more intense of an issue. Oh, no empty food storage question mark. Are we... oh, we've got plenty of space in the food stockpile. Just haven't got enough... Uh... Oh, a dead duckling. Oh, that's a tragedy. We just don't apparently have enough uh, pots, I would presume. Is it rock pots? I should have a stockpile for rock pots up here. Are there any of them full? Mm, no. Okay. Maybe I should start building some more rock stockpiles or some... Uh, more crafts workshops that use rock because at the moment actually are they even using these ones rock pot and that's it this one's not even in use uh, maybe I should add rock pots to that and maybe even some mugs we could start designating out a, um, a dining hall oh I haven't even done the barracks have I you know what Let's, let's set up the military. We're going to abandon or disband all of these, unless we want one of the names. Uh, the golden matches, not really interested in that. Uh, tombs of ringing, no, we're going to go. We're going to get rid of them all. Constructive owls, respectable urns, Bosch. So, captain of the guard, militia commander. So this one, create squad. No uniform as of yet. We'll make uniforms later on. The bridges of work. Okay, 
and Claycree, it would appear, has immediately gone in as our leader, but that's not what we want, because Claycree's a miner, and miners go in their own special group. So, let's find who's going to be our team leader. Uh, the bridges have worked. We'll come out for a sec. Go down here. Just leave this in the background. Yeah. yeah. And then, go up to a therapist and sort by military skills. So, let's look at the hammer dwarfs first. So, Rith. You got anything in your day-to-day -day that keeps you occupied? Mm, you're one of the lay masons. Okay, Rith, you're going in. You've got 11 kills and level 3 hammering. Seems good enough to me. Oh, wait a minute. Agility 9. Very clumsy. <sighs> Why you got to be so fucking clumsy, son? What's all this about? Why are you such a klutz? We have got no Axe Dwarfs. That's unusual. We've got more Knife Users than Axe Dwarfs. No Lashers. Several Mace Dwarfs. Uh, pikemen. One Pikeman. Two Swords Dwarfs. Actually, a lot of them have got very poor agility. Look at this. Nine and zero for both those Swords Dwarfs. Oh, sorry. That's uh, Spear Dwarfs. Swords Dwarfs, on the other hand, a little bit better. Still shit on agility and toughness, though, which is weird. Very weird. Actually, maybe I want to make Bemble the Swords Dwarf leader because swords made out of adamantine are super good. Oh, bollocks. He would have to be a strand extractor, wouldn't he? Uh, I've got to figure out who I can and can't draft into my military. Hmm... Hmm. Oh no, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, <laughs> uh, oh man, I watched, uh, another one of those Down the Rabbit Hole videos yesterday, uh, about the Final Fantasy house, has anyone heard of that? With the Otherkin stuff? That just seems super odd to me. I mean, that's something you want to be a little bit secretive and embarrassed about, Dave. And collecting computers, fucking perfectly normal, perfectly normal. Um, I never underestimate dwarf miners in combat. No, no, dwarf miners are very good in combat, but um, I like to have them in their own special, uh, their own special little groups. A mod that lets you make blunt weapons from stone. That makes sense. You can make obsidian swords. I do know that, and they're not too bad. Adamantine artifact whip. Actually, um, don't, don't you want whips to be dense? Because I remember the silver whips are absolutely fucking amazing. So, like, we, who was it who got completely ruined? We had a one-on-one -on -one fight with a goblin who had a silver whip, and he just fucking whipped somebody's eyeballs out and then crushed their skull with it. It was insane. <laughs> yes, but I have sex with the computers and call one my wife. Oh, okay. All right, then. Well, I will allow you a little bit of shame. Just a tiny little drip of shame into life's great cup. Hmm. Sorry, having a little glug there. <clears throat> uh, I think um, the thing with uh, adamantine is it's best for your your lightweight, fast cutting weapons. It's absolute bollocks for hammers. You don't want a hammer. Uh, they're just like a little whiffy stick, you can't do anything with it. But um, silver, silver now, there's a material for your blunt weapons. Ooh. Ooh. Mind you, with all this adamantium, we're not going to have any trouble acquiring most of these, uh, most of the metals we want, are we? Okay, so our next tier is almost ready to go. Let's make priority one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Uh, there we go, back to the fortress. We'll sort the military out in a bit. We'll sort the military in a bit. Yeah, well, I, I assume people think that um, because gold is soft, isn't it? Dense, but relatively soft compared to other metals. So I'm guessing people are like, oh, if that's soft, then so must silver be. I remember someone telling me once uh, back in the day when I was playing a lot of... Um, 
White Wolf World of Darkness games that you couldn't fire silver bullets out of an Uzi because they'd get too hot and melt and fuck the barrel up, which I'm... I don't see that, that seems plausible to me. But, um... Surely, I mean... Out of a non-automatic weapon, you could just shoot... Because still, the bullet's only like the bit in the end of the casing, right? Silver bullets work fine. Well, there we go. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that assuages my fears. Now when the werewolves attack, I'll be... Oh shit, I don't have any silver or a gun to fire it from. Then again, does it have to be necessarily a bullet? I'm pretty sure I could manage to get hold of a, a silver-tipped dart, right? A set of darts from a pub or something. Get a silver-tipped one, bang! Whang it into a, into a werewolf's head. I mean, it's probably going to mostly enrage it rather than kill it, but still. Got a fighting chance. Gunpowder doesn't get hot enough to melt silver. I think he was pitching it as like that enough go down the barrel that the friction will heat it up. But then again, I don't even think is that even a thing? How hot does a machine gun barrel get? I know they do get hot, right? That's a thing. That's true, silver cutlery wouldn't be a thing if it was soft. That's very true. Steel deal aggravated damage. Good. <laughs> Good. Lovely, lovely bit of ag there. Along with the vampire fangs, that'll do a bit of aggravated damage as well. Oh man, I used to love Werewolf the Apocalypse. For some reason, I ended up owning tons of the Vampire the Masquerade books, and my friend had loads of the Werewolf books, but I really loved the Werewolf stuff, and he really loved the Vampire stuff. It was very strange. I don't know why we ended up with the opposite books to the ones we really liked, but it just ended up being the way it was. I used to do the uh, the live games as well. I used to go down the pub a lot when I was a teenager with all the people pretending to be vampires. I know it's nerdy. I know it's deep nerdy, but man, I fucking loved it. Great days. Although, I don't remember much of it. I was quite drunk for most of it. Which is a shame. <laughs> well, I say a shame. It's all right. I'm quite happy with it. Essentially, you would destroy the gun long before it would melt the bullets being fired. Well, there we go. There you go. 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Fucking hell. Right. I haven't seen the guy in over 20, maybe 25 years. 20 years? About 20 years. Actually, it's probably more like 18. But whatever. Next time I see him, I'm going to be like, you fucking lying prick. <laughs> I asked a gun expert online who I didn't actually know and I just took his word for it so you're lying <laughs> then again I could easily verify this <laughs> I could just check it up but I feel like the consensus in chat is uh, in that uh, in that way oh hello fuzzy oh fuzzy I'm afraid you've popped your clogs you've uh, you've died you've passed on Weird Beasts in DF all have one random material that they're weak to. What? Really? That's a surprise. Oh, come on. Don't tell me this is the top of the adamantine spire that we've dug out. Surely not. There must be a way through the uh, the magnet, then, right? Question mark? I have to channel some holes in the floor, see what we find. Then again, if I accidentally channel through into hell, that's going to be a bit of a... bit of a worrying scenario. <laughs> Colloidal silver is a great medicine. I mean, great in the way that it doesn't work, and it makes your skin blue. Nice. Smurfy. I think you done fucked up if you pissed off a Garu in SMG range. Yes, very true. Straight to Krinos, <laughs> off with your head. Also, that fucking healing. Oh my god. I mean, you've got to do aggravated damage or they're, uh... <sighs> they're getting you. And the, the only problem with the World of Darkness towards the end of the second edition, which is where that's where my knowledge of it stops, was that by the end of it, it was hard to believe that anybody could exist in that world and not be aware of like supernatural shenanigans because there were so many things 
like there was like obviously there was werewolves and all the other kinds of weird beasts that they introduced the rats the um, the crocodiles the macaulay membe um there were the weird cats uh weird sharks i've got the book for them um and then there were like hundreds of different types of vampires and there was like supposed to be oh there's very few of these ones but you know there's a hundred different types of vampire where there's very few of them uh, the, oh, do you remember um, did we get Freak Legion the Fomori book that was a fantastic book I loved the little comic in the beginning the whole Pentax thing the Amazon war I think I've still got a copy of that book with the uh, the, the water tattoo sheets in the back ah oh, happy days I feel like maybe, just maybe, that was the top of the spire, and now we have to navigate through the horrible magma to get any more adamantine. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Uh, I used to do blacksmithing, and heat doesn't transfer from mind-bogglingly hot things as quickly as you might think. I had a yellow hot piece of steel roll down my leg, and it did nothing. Huh. Mercury bullets wouldn't work then. You could keep them in a blast freezer, but they'd get the gun all gooey. Mm, yeah. Uh, down the outside of my pants to clarify. If it was on bare skin, it probably wouldn't burn. Um, isn't there a thing that, um, like liquid nitrogen, like it poured onto like bare skin, uh, um, like not if you like, fucking blast hose it, but if you just pour a bit of liquid nitrogen onto your skin, it boils off before it hits your skin because the heat from your hand destroys, like boils it into gas. But if you've got like socks or a glove or something and you drip it onto clothing, because there's that little bit of medium to take the heat, the, it, you can actually give yourself bad um, like frostbite. It's bad frostbite. What's good frostbite? You can give yourself like like cold burns if it touches your things, your things, your clothes. Oh my god, I'm getting tired. Um, shotguns. Oh, a mercury shotgun. Interesting. Do you remember the, um, there's a link to a man who turned blue. Uh, vampire takes a uh, bashing from a shotgun. Vampires were a whole load more fragile in World of Darkness than the, the werewolves, though. Like, werewolves really were substantially tougher. Like, y you would not want to fight, a, unless you were, like, a proper badass vampire. Like, you know, ridiculously low generation. You wouldn't want to fight a, a, a werewolf. It would just ruin your day. Uh, full, fully automatic shotguns. Yeah, then again, you've got to go through a lot of ammo with those. I watched a, a, a YouTube video about... Uh, do you remember in Fallout there was a gun called the Pancora Jackhammer? And it's like a, a famous gun that never made it really beyond a couple of them being made for movies and stuff, like a prototype thing. I watched a video about that, and that was supposed to be a fully automatic shotgun. I mean, surely you'd, you'd go through your ammo a bit fast, right? And shotgun shells take up a shitload more space than bullets, don't they? And again, what do I know about guns? I've literally never touched anything more than an air rifle. Oh, that's true. A quarter staff does have the, sort of that steak quality. That's good. Uh, the same bouncing thing works if you spit on a metal bin with a fire in it. Bouncing? Hmm. 12 gauge shotgun shells are huge. Because I'm like, I've, I've, um, oh, that's not true. I have held a shotgun, actually. But, um, I've never, I've been to places where they do the clay shooting, and you can find, like, the shell, the little, uh, the cartridges, uh, for shotgun shells. Uh, no, there's, is the shell, isn't it, that's left behind. The shotgun shells are left all over the place. You can dig them out of the dirt, and I used to collect them. We used to have hundreds and hundreds of things, all different varieties. And we used to find the unbroken clays uh, that had been fired, and we'd just collect them all up and then use the air rifle to plink them. That was good fun. True, I would swap <laughs> I would swap all my ammo for not being murdered by an angry monster. That is a that is a good point. That's a very good point. Oh yes, no, I've seen that. 
I once burned my legs because I peed on top of a, um, a gas lantern when I was a kid. <laughs> I noticed that the rain was bubbling up and I went, yay, and peed on it for some reason. And the hot water went all over my legs and hurt. <clears throat> the forgotten beast, Ungopex, has come. A great eyeless pterosaur. It has three narrow tails and it has a bloated body. Its pumpkin scales are jagged and close set. Beware its deadly blood. Mm. Ungopex. Sounds, sounds uh, very... Mysterious, exciting. I like Ngopex. He can stay in the caverns. Uh, right. Oh, they built that farm. We didn't even set it up with plump... Uh, not plump helmets. Oh, it's not done. Okay, I got a bit too excited there. Uh, pigtails. That's what we were going to grow there, wasn't it? So, uh, what do I do about going digging down? Part of me wants to dig through these walls. But part of me also thinks maybe I shouldn't because it could be. Let's dig around the magma and see what happens. I notice that some of these aren't actually hot. There's some gaps in the heat. Maybe that's because the heat's below? It's hard to say. Hard to say. The mayor fights the beast in forgotten combat. The forgotten beast in single combat. Whew, that will be a single combat. The only combat they fight for the rest of their life. I'm not sure I'm gonna. I'm not sure I'm gonna uh, fly with that one. I think I'm gonna let that one uh, just fade into the ether as a suggestion. Seems a bit uh, a bit dangerous. A bit too a bit too deadly. Uh, so let's have a look at the rest of the fortress quickly. What's going on here? Have we got all that tin being built? Oh look! Adamantine thread! Yay! That had better not be ending up in my uh, textiles area. If I find some fucking tailor's been using it, I'm going to go absolutely mental. Looks alright. Oh wait, what was that? Was that a ghost? What's this? A fine pewter flask. Okay. Fine. <laughs> a pewter flask. I'm happy with that. Okay. Stockpiles look good. I was going to make more craft dwarf workshops, but seeing as we're not really even using the ones we've got, maybe it's a bit of a, a bit of an overkill. I like the fact that we're getting the thread out fast. This seems very fast compared to the last time we got adamantine in any large quantities. Hmm. I'm not going to start using it for weapons yet, because we need to find some other weapon-grade material. Hello. How have we suddenly ended up with six anvils instead of four? They don't breed, do they? <gasps> We've got a steel anvil! Ooh, part of me wants to melt that bad boy down and start duping steel. Because the steel adamantine combo is powerful. And steel hammers are good. Hmm. Also, with something, I don't want to waste the adamantine on um, my unskilled workers. And if we can just start leveling them up by uh, banging out some armor and weapons made of other stuff, that's probably for the best. I don't think we can use tin for weapons or armor, can we? Hmm. <laughs> Poor old mare is being propagandized against. <laughs> poll, a poll for the forgotten beast versus uh, the mare. We we do not have the infrastructural capability to do that, but I will leave that poll request in the queue for next stream. Well, next to a fortress stream, which will be what day is it? Sunday. The next to a fortress stream will be Thursday, so. Next Thursday, we will take that poll and we will see what it ends up giving us. Maybe we'll end up doing a little uh, a little madness. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. Jute steel is the only way that you're going to get hammers. That's true. Steel, in my opinion, is acceptable for every single military application. That's true 
to the point, but we learned a powerful lesson. If you give your scrub tier um, recruits steel armor, they can't train very well. It's too heavy. You need to start them off in something lighter to get their armor skill up. Because if you just put them in steel armor, they sit there like, I can't move, I'm stuck. Which is uh, problematic, to say the least. You need them to have a little bit of mobility. Uh, Thursday is a long time away, but there will be a stream tomorrow, remember? Oh shit, yeah. Here's me staying up till four in the morning, and I've got, got another stream to do tomorrow. Oh, what a silly fool. Yeah, I should probably uh, get some uh, get some little armor. Uh, duped steel, uh, Dave. Um, basically, some items in the game, if you melt them down, give you more metal back than you put in to make them. Uh, steel leggings is the classic example. So you make a shitload of steel chain leggings, melt them down, you end up with slightly more steel. So if you just keep cycling through, not only does it level up your armor smith. Uh, it also means you end up with more steel than you set out with. Which is why uh, you can uh, take that ad uh, anvil <coughs> excuse me, and turn it into a super duper quantity. It'll be nice. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what's this pause? Taken by Fey Mood. Ah, Salford Sal has been taken by a Fey Mood. This seems like a very good bookend for the stream. Let's follow Salford Sal. Uh, where is she? Sal... Where are you? Can't see her. Should be flashing with a purple exclamation mark. No? Oh, right, we'll find her here. Down we go. Stukos. Ravelin. Oh, shit, I've still got the fucking kitchen to do. I've got to go do dishwasher. What an idiot. I <laughs> definitely should have carried on. Shouldn't have carried on till four in the morning, but oh well. Never mind. There we are. Self and self. Oh, on the stairs. Fair enough. Let's follow and see what kind of workshop she requires. What? What's going on? Why is she fucking around in a little room? <sighs> Okay. That's not her, that's Kel. Huh? Hang on. Hang on. Where, where are we going here? South and South. That's it. Okay, I'm going to use DF Hack to figure out what she wants. Claim a glass furnace and become a legendary glass maker. <gasps> Our enormous crystal phallus is but a heartbeat away. Uh, although we need to collect um, sand for it. But that's okay, we've got the... Uh, we just need to make some bags, grab some sand, everything's going to be tickety-boo. Everything's going to be fine. So, with that in mind, build, uh, furnace, fuck off. build, E, uh, magma glass furnace, A, that needs a hole into the magma on the top middle. So, with that in mind, I'm going to dig out... Is that good? That is good. That is good. So, D, H. That's the right place, right? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's make it priority one, because this is urgent. Very important work. Bang. Uh, B, E, A. Magma glass furnace. Lovely. In you go. Make it out of obsidian, which is nice. Make the glass furnace out of a type of glass. It's good. I like it. And we may need to assign somebody as a glass maker in order to get someone to actually build the thing. Uh, where is glass making in Dwarf Therapist? Uh, glass making. Oh no, we've got a couple of glass makers. Salvatsal and Arian. Come on then, Arian. Build the glass furnace for us. Build the glass furnace, please. I also need to put a, uh, a sand stockpile in, don't I? 
there again. Hang on. J and Q B A G. So um, I would like uh, a yarn bag, please, and give me five of them. Okay, get those built as soon as. And then I might enable glass making on a few more people actually, just to get someone to come down and do it. Yeah, okay, let's do it. It's going to do it on a load. A load of randoms. Commit. There we go. Someone come down and do the furnace, please. Oh, they're doing it. Who is it? Who's doing it? It's Druid's Mead. Thank you, Druid's Mead. Much appreciated. Get that built. Oh, are you not actually doing it? No, they are. They're doing it. It's fine, everybody calm down. So Buckshot Brigade doesn't need the skill, Dave doesn't need the skill anymore, Druid's Mead does, so we can take it off. Everyone else commit. Let's get Druid's Mead to build it. Oh, it needs a freaking mason. Of course it does. Of course it needs a mason. Hmm. Christmas ornaments from Slade. That would be nice. Oof, not adamantine bags. No, that's not what we want. We do not want adamantine bags. What a waste. I've uh, got bags, got yarn bags being made. That's that's fine. Oh, they're making it, they're making it. Sal should run straight down and claim that. Should see her in a second. Uh, I need to go up to the farming area. Take me to the farming zone uh, here. And then while we've got the animals eating, we want to say sand collection area. Very nice. Got any more grazers that need to go in there? Nope. Okay, so we should be able to acquire some sand. That's good. We'll see how it works out though. Here she comes with her baby. Lovely. A mother was making some glassware one night. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let me have a quick look. Uh, oh, you are fucking kidding me. She doesn't want sand. She wants raw green fucking glass. Ugh. D.H. Uh, so, we put a hole for the next one, uh, gap, there, there. Lovely, and we'll put another glassmaker's workshop there, and we'll put in an order for some raw green glass. As one does. As one does. Hopefully, Sal will survive. You'll need another glass furnace to set the instruction to collect sand. That is a good point. Shit. Mind you, that one, excuse me doesn't actually need the hole, does it? So, if we say uh, build uh, E glass furnace G we put that there go, okay, and that one can be the one that collects the sand, while the other one makes some uh, sweet, sweet raw glass if we can get it done fast enough that is the, that is the issue Gonna need to put some more people on glass making. I thought we were out of that, but apparently not. Mm. Go just whack in on a few, commit, get it built. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh my god, it's gone 4 a.m. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I've tried to do the green glass trap thing, but um, the green glass blade trap, but um, they never work quite as well as I hoped. They uh, they tended to explode all over the place. Oh shit! Am I hearing bird song too? I will be. I always associate hearing bird song while playing computer games with Civ. <laughs> just playing epically long games of Civ Five and Civ Four that just end with me hearing. What's that sound effect? What's going on? Checking all the menus, going, oh, we've entered a new age or something. I don't remember this. And then realising, oh, the birds. The real birds. <laughs> seagulls. Yeah, you really know when you've heard a seagull. 
I know. When we had them come in, it's just like bits of bone and blood flying everywhere. Like the. But we also had the the, um, the cage traps I'd made. I think had been made with substandard cage traps. The weapon traps I'd made were made with substandard mechanisms. So as soon as anyone stepped in, the blades went pow and flew everywhere in the corridor, which is a viable strategy for using them, but uh, maybe not the ideal one. Not the ideal one. Has this craft this glass workshop been made? It's been made. Okay, add a new task. Uh, collect sand. Repeat. There we go. And then hopefully whoever built that one will come down here and build this one. And we'll end up with a lovely, wonderful magma furnace and uh, a sweet, sweet industry burgeoning with a legendary glass maker. I may have to pack this in and leave this as a cliffhanger. Oh, same here. I'm always a, a full, I never make a weapon trap with less than ten of a weapon in. Always tens. Always tens. Okay, nobody's coming yet, are they? Why no one build? Oh, because I haven't actually ordered them to build the fucking thing. That's why. Mm. Uh, what a fucking spam handle. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's get someone in to build the furnace. Then we're good. But don't breathe the smoke. Uh, come on, somebody get in here. Get in there, lads. Make that glass workshop. In fact, it's a cliffhanger. I'm afraid I've hit my limit. It's four in the morning. Uh, we've got a record. We've got 56 minutes on this recording. Those of you, the camera's not there. It's over there. Those of you watching the YouTube recording, thank you very much for doing so. Well, both of you, if two people even watch this. Um, Hopefully you'll join us for another one later. Bye.